Welcome to today's episode of Ask the Guitar Coach. Today's question is not actually one question. Several people have asked me about specific signature guitars and whether I would suggest uh, that they buy them. So I decided to give all my answers in one uh, video so that they understand and that you understand and you see what is the optimum choice in these cases. So here's the question. I am thinking about buying a signature guitar from my favorite guitar player. Is this a good idea? So this is the question and people have uh, asked me about the John Petrucci guitars, about the Steve Morse signature model, about the Gus G signature model, about the Steve Vai, like all kinds of different instruments. And even though I really enjoy most of those instruments, the answer is usually no. You probably should not buy that specific guitar from the player of your dreams, like from someone who you would dream to be playing at his level. In my experience, 60 to 80 percent of people that buy a signature model guitar, especially the really expensive ones, regret it after a few months to a couple of years. And there are several reasons for that. First of all, those guitars are created on the hands of the specific player. However, this specific player has very different technique than what you are having and most importantly, his technique is massively more developed. That means that this is a performing instrument. This is an instrument that the person is using to perform. It's not a guitar that's meant to be practicing on. Now, if you have a good practice guitar, that should not be a problem. And then you can ignore what I'm saying and just go and buy the guitar if it's going to be just your performance guitar. However, if you want this to be your main practice guitar and the one that you play when you're uh, at home or when you're practicing with a band, then you should think again about this choice. If you're in a period of your life when you're practicing heavily, you want a guitar that's going to help you, help you with your practicing, that will make things easier for you to play and it will stop you from getting injured, which is a very important thing and I've been saying it over and over in the videos of Ask the Guitar Coach. Those guitars, the signature models, are usually not optimized for that. That doesn't mean that they're bad, that they suck, but they're usually just not optimized for those things. To give you one of my favorite kind of funny examples for this specific thing, think of uh, James Bond in Casino Royale. Daniel Gregg was in an amazing uh, physical shape for that uh, role and uh, several people that saw him and they were in the, their 40s they say oh I wish I looked like him. So let's suppose that you're 40 years old and you want to look like uh, Daniel Gregg, like James Bond in Casino Royale. What should you do? Should you go and buy the suit that he was wearing and the swimming suit that he was wearing or should you go and hit the gym and uh, fix your nutrition. By buying the signature guitar of the player that you admire, you're actually buying James Bond's suit. You are not developing his skill set. And what you should be focusing on is developing his skill set. I can tell you for sure that Daniel Gregg is not hitting the gym with a Tom Ford tuxedo. He's actually wearing regular uh, sweatpants and he's going to the gym and working out. And this is what you should do. Get a good quality practice guitar and work a lot on that. However, as I said earlier on, if you are done with your practicing or you're very, very advanced and you have developed your technique to a level where you're happy with it, then by all means, buy this guitar that uh, you like. It will be a little bit more pricey than getting the same model without the signature characteristics. Uh, it will be like probably 30, 20 to 30% more expensive, but it will be a very good guitar and it will have the extra sentimental value of being the signature model of your favorite player. So to summarize, if you're still in your practicing stage, in the vast majority of cases, you should not buy a signature model. If you are very advanced, depending on your goals always, and you feel you're ready to move on to the next stage of performing mostly without worrying about your practicing that much. I know we're always practicing, but 
not being the main thing that you do, in this case, you can buy your signature model, the signature model that you enjoy, and it's going to be fine. So I hope this helps and clarifies this issue. I've been getting, as I said, many questions about it. And I'll see you on the next episode of Ask the Guitar Coach.